Hi there folks, here in Sherwood Park with my colleagues Nate Glubish and Jordan Walker in Strathcona County after a day of uh, visiting with uh, community businesses and charities doing tremendous work to help Albertans get through the COVID crisis. Uh, this is our, well known as the industrial heartland for a good reason. Uh, th this is the center of petrochemical uh, industry in Canada. And uh, Jordan, we've been helping to provide stronger incentives for job creating investments in that industry, starting with the Municipal Property Tax Incentive Act. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, no, thank you so much, Premier. Th this is a, an incredible act. It was announced early on in our administration to support the industrial heartland. Uh, it'll keep us competitive with other jurisdictions globally and here in North America, and that's exactly what we need. It was passed last year, and it's an idea that came from the Alberta Industrial Heartland Association, which is uh, really based here in Strathcona County. Uh, we've also just uh, recently announced uh, the Alberta Petrochemical Incentive Program uh, to, to do m even more to bring petrochem jobs uh, to this part of it, or in fact all across the province. Nate, tell us more about that. Yeah, sure. So uh, this program is super important and it's something that we've developed as a government in consultation with industry and a lot of consultation with uh, those businesses uh, in the Alberta Industrial Heartland uh, to, to ensure that we can be the most competitive jurisdiction in North America for these businesses to want to deploy new capital to grow and to uh, build new projects which ultimately will create thousands and thousands of high paying jobs uh, here in Alberta and many of them right here in Strathcona County. So we also visited some successful small and medium sized businesses here like Wow Factor Desserts uh, which was just awesome. Uh, tell us a little bit about that success story, George. Yeah, so Wow Factory uh, Cake is an amazing success story whereby they are now selling thousands of cakes all over Canada and globally they're distributing to some major uh, companies as well like IKEA and Boston Pizza and they've recently uh, launched a local retail partnership with Save On Food. We're just so happy with this great local success story. And they showed us how they were able to expand thanks to some programs from uh, Alberta's government supporting their expansion. We also met with some local charities that are doing remarkable work to help uh, victims of sexual assault and other kinds of trauma. One of those is Saffron. Tell us a bit about that group. Nick. Yeah, Saffron Center is a great Sherwood Park based uh, not for profit that uh, works to support survivors of sexual violence. And so they do that by providing counseling, they do that by uh, working on new protocols for third party reporting to assist these survivors in being able to file their reports uh, with the police, which in and of itself can be a very challenging thing to do. And they're developing new and innovative ways to better support these vulnerable Albertans in difficult times. And we also paid a visit to Dreamcatcher Animal Assisted Therapy, a wonderful farm program that helps kids and others with developmental disabilities, uh, with brain damage or trauma to uh, break through some of those challenges. It's a wonderful, compassionate form of therapy, really a Canadian center of excellence in animal therapy for those uh, in need of some assistance. And then finally we ended up here with a Q&A session and a a meeting with the Strathcona County Chamber of Commerce. Great to get some feedback on Alberta's recovery plan, but also great to see the tremendous res resilience of local uh, entrepreneurs who are demonstrating that how we will get through the COVID crisis together stronger than ever.